If you need to perform data analytics in Microsoft Excel, then Copilot Pro is finally available for most consumer products. Now in this video, we put Copilot Pro head to head with ChatGPT for performing standard data analytics functions in Excel. So if you perform data analysis or analytics in Excel, this is the video for you. We put the products head to head, we compare the capabilities and work out which one comes on top. So stay tuned for more information and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel too. So in this example, I'm going to use some fictitious data for a company that doesn't exist. Now this company sells cameras and what I have here is example data that details the sales made by this company in 2023. It's split down by sales region, so we have the North, East, South, West region, and each row contains sales data that indicates the date products were sold, which products were sold, the quantity, the unit price, and the total value. Now, over in the top right here, you can see we've got the Copilot icon. If I go ahead and click that, it comes up with the Copilot preview pane. And it just takes a few seconds for that to load. Now, you can see the first thing that Copilot has identified is this data isn't yet in a table. Any data that you work with with Copilot has to be in an Excel table, but it will give you a really handy way of automatically converting your data into a table. So I'm going to click the convert button there. And in just a second, that has been converted. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to ask Copilot some very basic questions relating to this data. After we've done that, we'll then compare it in ChatGPT. And what I'm trying to do is understand which AI tool is more effective. Is Copilot embedded into Microsoft Excel better at answering some of our basic data queries? Or is it easier to use ChatGPT that will require me to upload the spreadsheet and perform the queries separately. So let's go ahead and try our first prompt. I'm simply going to ask Copilot to summarize the total number of all products sold by region in 2023. So let's hit the prompt button and see what Copilot does. Whilst it shows you it's analyzing data, and processing the prompt, it doesn't show you how it's working out what to present. And that's one of the things we'll see with ChatGPT when we take a look there. Now, what I can see is rather than give me the total number of all products sold by region in 2023, it's slightly misunderstood the prompt. It's showing me the number of distinct products sold by region in 2023. So how many distinct products is each region selling during that year around the total number of products? Now that's probably down to the way I have engineered the prompt. So let's go ahead now and slightly change the prompt to see if we can make Copilot better understand what we are asking. Okay, so I've slightly re-engineered this prompt and phrased the question a different way. So essentially, I'm asking Copilot now to summarize the total quantity of products sold by region in 2023. What I'm doing here is I'm using a direct reference to a column header with the intention that Copilot will pick up on that reference and understand that I need to pull through the total number of products sold rather than the total number of distinct products being sold. Let's go ahead and see how it handles this query. Okay, this looks much better. It's understood the question. So I can see here, it's saying in 2023, the total quantity of products sold by region are, and it gives me the various values for each of these sales regions. What I can see here is that it's broken down this data even further. Now in Copilot, you will get this option to add tables that it creates to a new sheet. So let's go ahead and add that information to a new sheet. Okay, I can see what it's doing here is it's showing me the total number of sales, the total number of items sold by region broken down by product type. So for each product type, 
it's given me the total number of items that were sold for that product in that region, which isn't quite what I asked it to do, but that's additional data that could actually be really useful to me. And what we're going to do now is head over to ChatGPT and see how ChatGPT performs with the same question. So let's try the same kind of data queries in ChatGPT. So the first thing I'm going to do is in order to understand clip the I can heading down here what and they select have my sales to the data prompt we've submitted and click OK. So it will look at the title is uploaded of the prompt to ChatGPT and then work out now which of those we'll items go ahead are and add in relate to specific prompt. prompt. So query. please surprise, there's also a number of all products sold by region in the spreadsheet. And again, it will determine whether they are relevant to query in or not. Pilot. Let's submit that and take a look at what it says. Now, one of the things I really like about ChatGPT is I have the ability to see what it's doing as it goes through and analyzes the spreadsheet. So I'm going to take these figures away and compare the two to work out whether these match or whether one of these tools is inaccurate in the way it's calculating and presenting the data. ChatGPT has come back with a response to the exact query I asked. There was no confusion. It's been able to summarize the total number of units sold by region, which is exactly what I was looking for. Now, the eagle-eyed ones, you will have noticed that there is a discrepancy in the values that have been returned by Copilot and ChatGPT. Okay, so I've put the figures side by side to compare what figures I'm getting from Copilot against ChatGPT. Now, the first thing I did is I created a simple pivot table that pointed at my original data set in the spreadsheet to pull through the actual figures I was expecting. As you can see, we've got a clear winner when it comes to accuracy. So ChatGPT with basic query first time round was able to pull through accurate sales data that compares with the data I've produced in the pivot table. Copilot, on the other hand, it's not there. It's not getting the figures correct. And to be honest, where it's coming up with some of these figures, I just don't know. I've been through the data to try and work this out and it really doesn't make any sense. Without a shadow of a doubt, ChatGPT for me is the clear winner here. I think Copilot's got a lot of promise, but ultimately if the data it is pulling through is inaccurate, if it's struggling with the kind of natural language queries that ChatGPT finds easy on a day-to-day -day basis, then I know which tool I'm going to be using for Excel analysis, certainly for the time being, until we see some improvements with Copilot.